match with the call of God. Uh, pretty much ended up coming down to a takedown. Again, it's not like I don't I don't like to be that way. I don't like to be tight. But you know that's what happened, and you got to come out on top. And that's what I did. Moving on to the finals. Okay, questions. Don't be shy. Mike for, Mike Pitt for win. One thing I asked you, you said you don't like those matches, but you tend to be in a lot of these close matches. You know the pants hate it. What does it do to you? Uh, I mean, I think it's the fans a little more than me. I'm out there wrestling, and, you know, I'm staying, uh, like, stay in my positions, and, you know, I don't really have a, a heart attack like some of the fans do, but, uh, you know, I'm out there working hard, so... How about the coaches? Are the coaches having heart attacks? What do they say? Uh, you know, for the most part, they're pretty calm. I'm sure they've been there in a few of the matches. You know, they know what's going on. They're pretty much, you know, in the same position I'm in, looking for openings. You know, this is what you need to do and that. But, uh, I mean, I guess I can't really say it for them. Next question. Yeah, Brandon, uh, Jordan Hans, yeah, yeah. Uh, what does this really mean to you? you know, this win, you know, getting to this position for yourself. Um, you know, it's another step to where I want to be, and we got another one tomorrow to where I really want to be. You know, this goal's been all year. Uh, you know, it's always been a dream of mine. So that's it's uh, you know another stepping stone to get what I want. Jim Nelson, one of the Cedar Falls Courier. Uh, you wrestled on the big stage before in high school, but this is uh, probably a far different, will be a far different experience at one of the fam most famous arenas in the world. What, do you have any idea what it's going to be like on tomorrow night? Uh, I mean, I kind of got a picture of what it's going to be like. You know, wrestling in Fargo, they put you up on you know, a platform that's kind of similar to what they do. Uh, and, you know, high school state finals, you know, that's kind of similar, but... Then again, it's different, you know, it's it's going to be a bigger crowd here, uh, you know, there's more guys pulling for you, and, uh, but what it comes down to is just you and another guy wrestling, you know, you kind of, you're in your zone, you're wrestling, the fans kind of, you know, shut out when you're out there, and that's that. Well, you got to follow up. Just to follow up, I don't know if you, you were aware, I know you saw him earlier, but, you know, your former high school teammate, torn ACL, comes through, makes an All-American. What, what can you say about Dylan's effort today? Right. Uh, you know, that's, that's Peters. He's, you know, he's not a guy to give up. You know, he's a strong worker. Uh, uh, I've known him for, I don't know, basically my whole life. And, uh, you know, I heard about that. And, you know, it's not where anyone wants to be, but Peters, you know, he's, he's, he's uh, he moves forward. He's... You know, strong as ever, he's still, he locked an All-American spot, right? And he's just, you know, he's still going forward. And, you know, that's that's what I expect of him because he's just that kind of guy. In the back? Josh on Channel 13, uh, Des Moines. What do you like in your skill set tomorrow that may give you the advantage in your match? Um, you know, going off what uh, our previous matchup just a couple weeks ago, one thing I... You know, I can't get written out of bottom and uh, just moving heavy hands, getting him, uh, you know, kind of stepping and stumbling to where that's kind of where I was in that position last time. You know, more fakes and and then I think things will start going my way more. Gary Abbott? Um, yes, uh, you're the third Iowa guy we've interviewed already and it looks like you guys are really peaking and wrestling well. The guys have made, uh, made it this far. Talk, talk a little bit about well, you know, being on that program and how the preparation went after Big Tens to, you know, kicking it into the finals. Which right. It's a very uh, difficult thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, at the Big Tens, we didn't get the team trophy that we wanted, but, you know, we're moving forward and, you know, just being in that room, that atmosphere, those guys know what they have to do to get the job done. And, uh, you know, some of the best partners in, in the world are in that room that's always making us better. And, uh, you know, we move forward from the second place finish, and we're doing all we can to, you know, keep keep team points up there. But the thing is, you got to focus on uh, your individual, you know, matchups. If you go out there and do your thing, the team will put together itself. So that's kind of where that's at. One last question. Anybody? We good? We good? Okay.